Hey everybody, my name is Dynamite, CEO of DPMG United. I have did a few videos on this Kanika Jenkins situation, but I haven't did one lately. But listen, if you have Netflix, put on American Horror Story Season 3, Episode 1. Did y'all just see the guy put the stuff in her drink or show the friend a drink? Y'all see how she's being carried through this hallway? Just watch. Tell me this isn't how everybody was explaining how Kanika was being carried when they edited the videos through that hallway. Just watch everything that's going to happen after this. Now, this is rated R and explicit, but this had to be showed because this is exactly what was done to Kanika. I hope my video don't cut off, but go back and watch my videos. I did a video on Kanika Jenkins explaining about the bathroom when the girls came out the bathroom and put the drink in there. I got a video where I'm kind of like laying down sideways talking about it. But this is the biggest video since this case has broken and since this happened because this demonstrates and shows every single thing that Kanika, um, that happened to Kanika in that freaking hotel. And I'm still saying, I'm still thinking some of the guys in the hotel got something to do with it. Right now, they raping this girl, y'all. They raping her again. This is American Horror Story Season 3, Episode 1. Y'all see this girl? She looking for her friend right now at this party. These guys drug this girl, and this is a football team raping her. And look at the friend looking for her. Now, this is the first time I'm ever going to say this. Share my video. Post this in the group. I'm putting this in the group myself. This is what happened to Kanika Jenkins. This, this episode was put out, was aired 2013. Four years before this even happened to Kanika. And this is the guy coming in trying to stop them. American Horror Story. Season 3, Episode 1. See, man, it's just like you will never know what people will get. Now, watch how she look and tell me this is how Kanika was laying in the hallway and laying in the freezer after the pictures that they showed us with her foot cut up, shoe off. Come on. And that whole thing I haven't even spoke on on a video since the latest pictures. You know, the whole roles might need to be shut down. And I'm even calling for the city of uh, Chicago, the state of Illinois, to be shut down for allowing this case to be closed. The way they found that girl laying in that hallway, somebody need to lose their job for saying it wasn't no foul play. This just don't make no sense, man. This not going to never die, straight up. This not going to never die, man. Y'all being bogus out there in Rosemont. Justice need to be held. That girl was raped. You know what I'm saying? Drugs. She walked into that freezer one way and, and, and was found differently. Her hair was laid straight perfectly when she walked in there. And the way she was laying, if y'all didn't see that girl have been raped, y'all need glasses, man. This is pathetic. My name is Andre Dynamite Rutledge. I'm born and raised from Chicago. And uh, like I say, man, uh, this is just ridiculous. I, I'm ridiculous. I'm a pretty powerful guy in Chicago as well. You know, go check out my website. Know who I am. You know, I, I know Casey Biz Ball. She went to the funeral. She was uh, being interviewed that Saturday on the news. You know what I mean? And um, I'm not an activist, but I speak. You know what I'm saying? As y'all can see. And I have a lot of people under me, a lot of artists under me, a lot of female artists. I have daughters. I got a female group, Low Key Angels. They all 17 and 18. You know what I'm saying? So that's why this case is so dear to me. I got my, um, my daughter getting ready to be 18 next month. She here now. So y'all saw that video, man. I'm just telling y'all, that's what happened to Kanika, man. Go watch American Horror Story Season 3, Episode 1. Comment, let me know, share, do all of this. Get this video out, man. I'm gone.